Carpe diem. This I believe. Life isn't just some purposeless journey that we embark on. It's a beautiful path to self-discovery. I choose to live it with no regrets, nor fears, for I choose to live life to the fullest. I choose to seize the day. You may wonder to what extent I, a 17-year-old, could have unraveled all of life's mysteries. Well, the truth is, my stepmother never ceases to amaze me until this day. My parents have been divorced for 12 years now and it still has a coarse impact on me. I moved to Saudi Arabia, this desert, to live with my beloved father along with his new wife and her son. I was compelled to live with these strangers in my own home. Where did I belong? Where did I exist? As much as I hated this, I never really took the time to place myself in her shoes. She also was living with an intruder, me. But she also had her own problems. For you see, her son was dying. Leukemia, a gruesome disease, had overruled any plans for his future, any plans for his present. There was simply no hope. From this day on, my stepmother would make every second count. She made his dreams come true in just one week, for she had taken him to his fantasy dreamland, Disney World, all the way in Florida. I remember him coming back, tanned, masking his weakened skin, saying this was the best time of my life. He didn't know he was sick. To him, this was the flu he had last year. Just another cold that will soon fade away. But months passed and this cold didn't just go away. No, my stepmother's nightmare materialized itself. For Khalid, her son, died at the age of nine. How can I not feel for her? She showed me courage. She showed me strength. She showed me that when life gives you a hundred reasons to cry, show life that you have a million reasons to smile. My stepmother changed. She's happier. But this does not mean that she forgets her past. No. This only means that she managed to embrace every second spent with her son. That she will forever treasure those memories and make new ones. Her zest for life inspires me today to strive here in Georgia Tech, to meet new people, to take risks, to join the soccer club team. We have to do what we can do because I believe that we all have one life, one chance to become someone. Live life with no excuses, reader, because it comes with no guarantees, no second chances. I believe that you have to speak out, go bungee jumping, dance under the rain, travel to the most exotic places, and taste the French creme brulee under the Eiffel Tower. I believe that time is of essence. I believe that we should always forgive, but never forget. I believe that we should learn from our mistakes, but never regret. I believe in Carpe Diem.